Let's head over to Eiffel Tower. I'm going to click it. And here we go. The very first match of the four-day Axiom Super Challenge is against Mitchell Johns. Right, on, Mitchell? Let me see what you've got. Waiting ever so patiently. All right, he's got a five count here. Oh, a lefty, lefty two-hander. He's got the uh, the reverse bucket. All right, that's a good spare, to be honest. That's <laughs> actually a really good spare. Well, considering it's the Axiom Super Challenge, I'm going to be using the Axiom. And after many a attempt of trying to find the best possible line, this is where I'm at. Uh, could you guess I was going to curve the ball? How good was that? How good was that start? Oh, Mitchell! Oh, Mitchell. You got your hands full today. Although, I'm nervous. I always get nervous when I play this game. And having this door open, by the way, um, it leads to the garage. And it's winter here, so it's like it's freezing cold. And... Um, <laughs> I'm now getting really cold. Oh, he's chopped it! Sorry, Mitchell, bad luck. Uh, let's see, okay. Focus, Jason. Oh no. Get lucky. Get lucky! My temping spares uh, have traditionally been really poor in this game. And um, I have been working on them, as you can tell. But um, I predict many a, many a miss spare today. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta close this door. It is freezing. All right, I'll just leave it a little bit, a little bit open, a little bit closed. All right, let's see. Oh, we've got a strike. I didn't even see you bowl that strike, Mitchell. So I'm just going to assume it was a great shot. Well, that's better. Oh, how good! How good is that Axiom ball? Oh, I love it. A little bit about the Axiom, if you're interested. Right, considering that if you play me and you have the highest score, which Mitchell's probably going to be really dirty now because he had an open frame with a chop spare, but if you are the highest score that beats me, you get your own Axiom. And the Axiom is one of the best balls that I have thrown in quite some time. I absolutely love it. What did you do? Oh, come on, Mitchell, with your doubles and your Brooklyns. Get out of here. Let's try this again. Just, just copy it and get, oh, bloody temping. It was a little, it was a little further to the right. I, I get it. Uh, that's a good spare again. So the Axiom has an orbital core. So it's a symmetrical weight block inside. So it allows the ball to have this beautiful continuation down the lane. It's... One of the reasons why, when I used it at the at the World Championship this year, why I was kind of really drawn to it was, it just didn't do any any crazy tricks. It just went on the path that it was already heading. So it makes for a really, really uh, hold. Good job. So it makes for a really consistent motion, which allows you to have a lot of trust in the ball. So that orbital core, absolutely amazing. It's a 3,000 grit Avalon finish to it. And we used, um, not shot Mitchell, we used a NEX, Next Solid Reactive Cover Stock. Now, this cover stock hooks, and it hooks a lot. Um, I, I, I mean, where you see me playing on the lane right now, I'm like, I'm way, way left. I tried to play a little further to the right, but man, when it hits, a little bit of that lower volume oil. Oh, that's a tough break. Solid nine on the double. Oh, what it would have been for the double. He's salty right now, I promise you. He's cursing at the screen. But, oh, get that love tap. But this solid reactive cover stock, it hooks. It hooks so much. But that orbital core just keeps it going towards the direction that it was heading. One of the reasons why I absolutely loved it. And the one thing that's even more impressive about it is that uh, Francois Lavoie, who 
If you know Francois Lavoie on the PBA Tour, a stroker, very, very straight player. Oh, that's going to get lucky. Use it as well. Just changing gears now, getting getting to the lucky gearbox. Um, Francois Lavoie loved it, plays it a lot straighter. Anthony Simonson, another two-hander like me, use it in the, in the television show. Um, a lot of guys use it all week. It's just one of those bowling balls that almost seems like it doesn't matter how you throw it, where you want to throw it, um, you'll find a line for you. Oh, that's terrible. All right, I'll take that considering. I am uh, well ahead in the match. Take my poison. Oh, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's a good start, Mitch. I mean, you know, you're, you're going to bowl, you know, not a bad game. You, you would have, you have a chance to beat like, you know, my average for the last week, but uh, not today. You didn't win today. You know, you miss a couple of crucial spares early on. You just can't do that against someone who's in form. In form, one game. <laughs> game over 200 and he's in form. I'm actually bowling way above my average, so. In 10 pin? Oh, no, I thought it was going to be a 10 pin. There we go, I'm keeping my average down. Alright, 212, winner. To 179. I'll collect my stuff. Thank you very much. So, match one in the books. Mitchell, sorry mate, couldn't beat me.